When you try to build uh, the component, you will be asked to set up the lightning component configuration. I'll come to the lightning component configuration in a while. But before that, let's have a quick look at, you know, how to create a lightning component. So let's go to the uh, Salesforce and try to create a lightning component there. So to create a login, uh, lightning component, uh, you should ideally go to developer console. Uh, make sure that you have my domain enabled. Uh, Let's have a quick look here. Yeah, so I have the my domain enabled here. Now you can go to the developer console and here you can go ahead and create the lightning component. So once you have this uh, developer console ready all that you need to do is you just need to go to file new and say lightning component and you can put a name for the lightning component let's just uh, quickly put a name for it uh, let me call it uh, my test component okay so that's the name that i'm gonna give it uh, give to it uh, there is an option of doing component configuration there's something which i'm going to talk about so let's not get into this right now click on submit it will create a component for you so this is the component which got created All right now this is where you can include the markup for the component so what this component will hold that can be included inside this again you know pretty similar to what we have in a visual force the moment you create a visual force space you get uh, you know uh, the visual force page tags okay here you see uh, get to see the aura component tags so the start of aura component tag and end of the aura component tag so all the things that you need to include uh, in this component all the markup that needs to be included has to be within these tags okay so this is where your markup will go and this is where the component markup needs to be included Sorry. All right, so that's what we have in the lightning uh, component. That's how a lightning component is created. We'll see how we can use that. But before that, let's you know quickly talk about the configuration part that we were discussing. Yep. So we saw there is an option of you know setting up the lightning component configuration when you try to create the. Uh, lighting component it gives you the option of uh, component configuration so what is that these configurations make it easier to create a component or application for a specific purpose now lightning component when you're creating a component you can have different uh, requirement for that particular component you might want to use that component on it as a tab you might want to use that on a record page you might want to use that uh, that on a community page you might want to use that as an action right so where you want to use that lightning component that is what you can basically define right at the time of building that component so it gives you that option the component configuration basically gives you the option to choose where or for what purpose you want to use that component so that makes things easier for you you can set it up later also however you have that option of doing that there itself okay so uh, configurations make it easier to create a component or application for a specific purpose like a a lightning tab or lightning page or a lightning record page or a lightning communities page or a lightning quick action so where exactly you want to use that you can choose uh, that you know in the configuration setup okay using configuration is optional so that's optional we we just saw that you know while we created the component we did not choose anything but still we could so there is no uh, you know requirement for you to choose that right at that point of time that's optional and you can use them in any combination including all or none so you can select all of them if you want your lightning component to be used everywhere so you sure you can choose all of them 
uh, those are checkboxes available so you are allowed to check, uh, choose all of them or you can leave all of them blank so you can you can basically select those in any combination uh, as per your requirement uh, further talking about these uh, uh, component configurations so configurations add the interfaces required to support using the component in the desired context so for whatever context you want to use so here you know now if you uh, try to uh, you know get into a little bit of coding side of uh, side of it and you know try and understand so when a component needs to be uh, used in a certain context let's say that a component needs to be used for, as a tab for that we have to implement an interface on the component so you know we have seen uh, just to make things easy for you we have seen that we have got the aura component tag right and then we have the aura component tag right so there is a start of it and then there is an end of it and we have the markup here right so ideally you know when you want to use that particular component uh, in a certain context let's say i want to use a component for, uh, as a tab so for that we are required to implement an interface here so for whatever uh, you know wherever you want to use that for that we have got a uh, we have got an interface and that interface needs to be implemented here right so that's how it works like pretty similar to you know the way we have inter implement interfaces for the apex classes right so similarly when you're defining this uh, component you have the option of implementing interface and you know once you implement it uh, implement an interface it allows you to use that particular component uh, at a certain place right so for uh, using your component in different places we have got different interfaces right now what your configuration is doing it will you know if you choose things uh, if you select those check boxes in the configuration itself then these interfaces are going to be automatically defined so i told you earlier that you can do these things later on also so if you try to do this later then what you have to do you just have to go and in implement the interface here so you have to write that implements whatever name of the interface all right so that is the thing so let's have a quick look at the interfaces that we are talking about so for lightning component uh, the lightning tab so we have seen you know there are different uh, options available for the component configuration so let me quickly go back to that yeah so if i try to create a new lightning component you would see that these are the options available right the lightning tab the lightning page record page communities page lightning quick action right so these are the options available now let me create a component and uh, just use okay so what we have done earlier is uh, we have uh, created a component without checking any of those boxes right so when you created a component without checking any of the boxes uh, you got a component like this so this is the code okay let's have a quick look at this and then let's create another one where we are going to select one of the checkboxes and we'll see you know how things are different so uh, if you create a new lightning component now uh, and just check the lightning tab and let me <clears throat> um, just giving it some name and I have selected lightning tab. So now I want this to be available for the lightning tabs, this component to be available to be used as lightning tabs. Click on save. Okay. Now let's have a look at the code here. You see this? This is the first one where we did not select anyone. And this is the one where we have, uh, you know, selected the lightning tab option. This <clears throat> implements an interface. Okay. Name of the interface is force app hostable. All right so this interface is required for uh, required by a component to be used as a lightning tab so in case you do not choose that option uh, you know uh, right at the time of creating the component if you have not checked those check boxes later on you can just go and add the interfaces so it's just about implementing the interface all right so let's have a quick look at the you know interfaces that we have for different uh, components or for the different uh, options in the configuration 
So create a component. Uh, so for lightning tab basically creates a component. So if you have checked that lightning tab checkbox, it would create a component for use as a navigation element in lightning experience. So this can basically be used as a tab which can be used as a navigation element in the lightning experience or Salesforce mobile apps. So <clears throat> it will allow you to create a lightning tab uh, which can be used uh, for navigation in the lightning experience. And this is also available in the Salesforce mobile apps. Uh, the interface that it uses is this one implements force app hostable so we just saw this one okay uh, now for the lightning page component configuration basically creates a component for use in lightning pages or the lightning app builder okay so we have earlier seen you know we can basically build the pages uh, using the lightning app builder so uh, you know if you have uh, selected this option or if you have uh, the interface that is uh, implemented here is this one flexi page available for all page types so if you implement this interface it's basically gonna uh, be available for you in the lightning app builder pages so you, this co these components which have this interface are going to be available for you to be used in the lightning app builder for building the pages uh, lightning record pages so we have seen you know while we were talking about the lightning app builder we have seen that there is a specific type of page uh, which is called the lightning record page okay so this creates a component for use on a record home page in lightning experience it implements flexi page available for record home okay so it implements this one and it also implements uh, another uh, interface which is called force has record id okay so now uh, this is basically to make this available for the record home page okay the record detail page basically and uh, this implements the interface that gets you the record id because when we are talking about a record detail page if you again we go back and compare it with visual force so when you create a record detail page you are required to supply the id right so this interface will you know help your component get the id okay so the uh, lightning record page configuration option creates a component for use on a record home page so these components can be uh, used on the record home page lightning communities page this creates a component that's available for drag and drop in the community builder so this is this builds a component which is available in the community builder basically and this implements force community available for all page types so this is the interface that is implemented here uh then lightning quick action now, this creates a component that can be used with the lightning quick action implements force lightning quick action so this is the interface which is implemented all right so when you're building a component and if you are you know uh, clear about where you're going to use it you simply choose these options the you know component configuration if you're not clear about that and later on if you decide that okay fine i want to use it here or uh, i want to use it for a tab or i want to use it for the community so you just you know use the uh, exact uh, interface that's all you have to do all right so yeah that's about uh, the component configurations now <clears throat> The next thing that we will discuss about is the next important thing that we need to understand is the component namespaces. All right. So uh, first of all, before we actually, you know, uh, get into this part, let's quickly uh, go and uh, have a look at the component that we have built. Okay. So let's add some markup to that and let's uh, preview the component. All right. And then I'll uh, come to this uh, component namespace part. Okay, so uh, let me uh, build an app, a new lightning application. Uh, so this builds a new lightning app, right? So you have the option of building a lightning application. You can simply go to file new and say new lightning application so this builds an application for you now this application can be uh, you know you have a unique url for your application and you can basically go and view the application so you have the option of uh, option to preview this app all right so this app basically creates a single page app for you 
okay which can be compared to a page of a visual force okay similar to that all right so if you want to uh, have a quick preview as of now i do not have anything so if you notice here uh, it uses the aura application tag uh, start of the aura application tag end of the aura application tag whatever content you want to put inside it has to be included within these aura uh, application tags all right so let me do a quick preview click on preview and it should show me the preview of that app right now there's nothing on this okay so it takes me to the preview and that's what we get to see all right okay now What I want to do is uh, the next thing that I would like to do is I would uh, want to add some uh, markup to this component and then I will call that on the lightning app. So now to add markup on the component, what we can do is uh, let me just say hello, how are you? And I would save this. All right. Now I need to call this component on the app. All right. So now I need to call this component on the app. Now to call this component in the app, what you need to do is uh, you basically need to use uh, namespace colon component name. Okay, so here my namespace defined is J321, I guess. I'll talk about uh, namespace and I'll help you understand. In this, I already have a namespace defined, so I'm just following that. And what is the component name? My test component, right? My test component. That's it. Uh, namespace is correct. Okay, uh, this is not required. Yeah, that should be fine. So the problem was with the you know first one because there is no uh, component with that name. Okay, so this is the namespace colon the component name this is how you call it. All right. So now I've saved this. Now let me go and update the preview. See, this has got included in the app. All right. Syntax uh, for the link of your app is pretty simple. It's your uh, whatever uh, mydomain.force.com slash your namespace slash your app name dot app. Okay. So do you have the option of uh, actually, you know, uh, previewing it from here? You can click on a preview from here and you can see the uh, app. However, you also have an option of, you know, directly using this link with this particular uh, structure. So the structure is pretty simple. My domain dot force dot com slash uh, your namespace uh, slash app name dot app. That's it.